Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix Android device does not show up in the ADB list on your Windows 10 computer. So I have uh, plugged in my Android phone and on my computer, it's not showing the device in the list right here. So when I type in ADB devices, it should show me a connected Android device. So there are a lot of different things that can cause this problem. So here are a number of different solutions which you could try out. Now the first thing is on your mobile device, you want to turn on USB debugging. So here you would want to swipe down, tap on settings. In settings, you want to go down and tap on developer options. If developer option is not Enable, you can tap on about phone, tap on software information, and tap on the build number seven times to turn on developer options. Once you've got developer options switch on, tap on developer options, and then go down and tap on USB debugging to make sure it is switched on, and then tap on OK. Now after that, give it a try. And you can see my device has now been shown in the list of devices attached. Now at the moment it is saying that it is unauthorized. So I just have to tap on the allow button. And I can try it again. And here you can see now it's showing my connected Android device on my computer. Okay, another problem that may cause this issue is the USB cable. So you want to try a different USB cable. Uh, better if you can use the official Samsung cable. Uh, if not, you can try different cables. Even if even with the official Samsung cable, sometimes uh, it can cause an, a problem with the data transferring process. So um, your ADB might not be able to detect your device. So I would strongly recommend you switch to a different uh, USB cable. Now another thing that you can do is to plug the USB cable into a different USB port on your computer. So on your computer try the front USB port, try the back of your computer, the USB uh, port at the back of your computer. Okay another solution is to change your USB settings on your Android device. So on this Galaxy S21 I've got here you can swipe down at the top and tap on USB for file transfer or whatever it is that you have set on. So tap on the USB options and you can try, for example, MIDI, transferring images, USB tethering, which is uh, something that, the, that you don't want to choose. Mainly you want to choose from your USB settings. You want to set it to transferring files or Android, Android Auto. So choose the option and uh, give it a try. So you want to go back to your computer and then try to uh, list the device again and see if that works. Now depending on if you are using a newer Android model or an older device, you may see it's give you an option to connect as MTP or PTP. So try to connect to PTP or MTP and then go back to your computer and and, te and uh, test it out. Okay, another thing that you can try is on your computer, you want to first type in the command adb space q server and that will basically uh, turn off adb services and then you want to start the service again. So I'm just going to choose start adb space start dash server and that will restart the adb services and then from there you can try to list the device on your computer okay and another thing that, that you can try is when you are in settings go to developer options then turn on stay awake so switch it on and then go back to your computer and then give it a try like that. 
and see if that works. Now from times to times, a bad driver uh, installed on your computer that can get corrupted. If it is corrupt, then it might not be able to detect your device. So in this case, you can right click on my computer, click on Managed. Then in Computer Management, click on Device Manager. And if you go down here, you can see it shows Samsung Android phone, Samsung Android ADB interface. You might want to uh, uninstall and reinstall the driver. Uh, and also in System Devices, so let me just see in System Devices, sorry. We go down a little bit to uh, Universal Serial Bus Controllers. And here we've got Samsung Mobile USB Composite Device. You may want to uh, reinstall, so uninstall the device and reinstall the drivers. And hopefully that can uh, fix uh, the problem with um, ADB not detecting your device. Okay, so I hope one of the solutions can help you out. I'm pretty sure if you try out some of the solutions that I have uh, suggested, uh, it should work for you. So please give it a try. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.